What's going on everybody? This is the Fly Fishing Ninja and I've had a few questions about the Tenkara rod that I use because I know a lot of people haven't seen them or you're not a fly fisherman so we're just kind of curious about it. Tenkara rod. They are absolutely awesome and so much fun. It's a 12 foot rod when it's fully extended out. It's got nine segments that you uh pull out and real careful of course the tip of these is like really sensitive so all right so like I said it's 12 feet long it's only 20 and a half inches when it's broke down and weighs 2.9 ounces which is cool for you know like I said backpacking you know out on your mountain bike they're it says perfect, you know, right underneath the seat of your pickup, whatever. They are made from carbon fiber, so they're strong, they're durable. Um, right back here, a lot of, you know, you'd think that they would put a plastic cap in the butt section for removing your rod segments, but they don't. Drop it on the floor. But they don't. They put a metal rod cap on, or, you know, so... It's not cheap. It's really a high quality product. Um, real quick, let me pop this off. There you go. I use the Dragon Tail Shadow Fire 360. If you want to compare it to a regular fly rod, it's a four weight. That's what it is. Soft action four weight. Uh, they are they do have like a matte black finish, which you know you don't have to worry about scratches. I mean, it's going to get little blemishes here and there, but it's okay. They come with a a hard tube case for storage. I don't have mine. I don't know where it's at right now. Uh, I don't really use it because I'm out on the river every day. But I'll put a picture in this video of it. They are an absolute blast. And since you don't have a reel, what you're doing is you're putting your line right at the end of this. This is called a Lillian. And you're basically, you have a loop at the end of your level line. See that little loop? Let me get it quick moving. Right there. So, with that loop, you just put your line through the loop, to make another loop, alright, whatever, <laughs> so you'll put this line through there, make another loop, and then at the end of this Lillian, you have a knot. And that's a stopper knot that'll keep your line from coming off. So then what I do is with the level line, I go the length of the rod and then about two to three feet of uh, fluorocarbon off of that. 5X fluorocarbon. And that's it. Then they have these. These uh, line holders. They are incredible. I mean, I've got all that line wrapped on here. Pay no mind to that loop. When I was messing with it, I got a little knot, and yeah. These line holders actually just, uh, that's it. They don't move around. They don't get in your way. They have, like, no weight to them. I will put a link to these also in the description. So that way, you can get them. I got two of them for, I think, like $12. So since there is not a reel on here, bringing a fish in, it's, I'm not going to say it's a pain in the butt, because I love it. You know, you're drawing the rod back to your net, and if you can't get the fish to the net, you have to hand line it in, which I think is a lot of fun. 
But that's basically it. That is a Tenkara rod. And on their website, which I'll put a link to their website also, Dragon Tail Tenkara, they say that this can handle a 17-inch fish, which in a lot of rivers where I live, that's what you're going to catch. You know, you might catch an 18 or 19, but where I fish, that's this is like the perfect rod for that. My biggest fish so far with it was about 16 inches brown trout, and it was a hell of a fight. Um, yeah, playing the fish and trying to wear it out is a little kind of a pain, but I the good actually I can't think of anything bad about this rod actually I love it and the gentleman Brent he's actually on my Facebook um, is based out of Idaho and they just make such a good quality rod I just started doing Tenkara fishing this year and I am so addicted to it I, I just love it. So I hope I answered everybody que everybody's questions about what kind of rod I'm using. I've never really done a review video before, so this might sound kind of awkward. and Because it is. It is kind of awkward for me, honestly. But get one of these. You can get them on Amazon. You can go to the Tenkara, uh, Dragon Tail Tenkara website and get them. They actually just had a new rod come out. It's uh, right now I think they're just trying it out. Let me look it up real quick. And I can actually show you. That's the, the hard case that comes with right there and a rod sock. But let me show you. And I'll actually show you here. You can see the price. Look at that. $94.99 for that. That is, it's awesome. And you can, you know, the more little things you add, you can, you know, add line and all that to it, to your order. And I went through and I added everything, which I thought would be a super good starter kit for people. And it actually came to a total of $124. Plus, like, $8 shipping. So for $124, you can start Tenkara fishing. It is such... It's so awesome. It really is. And I know I'm dragging this video out for a long time. I apologize for that. But, you know, look into them. Watch, you know, my videos to kind of get a better idea of what Tenkara fishing is about. And you can also watch my buddy Robbie's channel... Robbie's Fly Tying Channel, he does a lot of Tenkara fishing. Um, he's actually the one that really got me into it. So, check it out. Thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, let me know. Let me know how I did on this video, please. Let me know if it was just way too awkward, and or if I should just delete it and redo it. I don't know. But... Please like the video if you like it. Please subscribe if you haven't. And my Fly Fishing Ninja Facebook page is linked below. So check that out. And thanks again, everybody. Just keep on fishing on. And Fly Fishing Ninja out.